So let's have a roundup of our day on the farm. This, as I started to clean it up, gave me a bit of a, a cold guilt uh, moment. But it's uh, just naff, cheap metal, and a little stone stick pin or something small anyway, a little stud, whatever. So, not a lot. We had two musket balls. They don't look like they've got <coughs> real age, they haven't got that white appearance that lead does take on. Both got exactly the same sprue shape. I don't know if that enables you to date it, I don't suppose. Um, whether they were pistol shot. That one scuffed something. Uh, they weren't that far apart, either the two of those. So, yeah, quite nice. Staying with shooting this as you can see with the size of the two musket shot that this is a huge shell case biggest shell case i found can't actually find all that much on it but somebody will know far more than i but a fair lump of copper anyway this little doodaddy type thing which i thought when i first saw it in the ground was a ring Let's face it, that's what it what it looks like, isn't it? But I'm not sure you'd have that stuck on it, which is threaded. So I'd imagine no no great age. Well, it's, it's a nice colour. But if anybody's got any ideas what that is, then let me know in the comments below. We had another piece of lead, which I thought would have two holes in it, but it only seems to have one. So whether that was some kind of weight, I thought it was probably a hem weight, maybe a bit big, for, a bit chunky for a hem weight, but definitely made for something. So only good age. Got that uh, oxidization on it. So that's nice. Our main find, of course, was our 1567 Elizabeth I hammered coin. Lovely that side, and not so lovely that side. You can clearly see the Tudor rose. And you can just make out the top of her crown and her mouth there, but not a lot to go on. So, a three pence, threepence, with the crown coronet stamp, 1567, three lions, and the three French fleur de lis third or fourth issue so my first hammered coin and the sort of thing that really wants you to get back and dig again which hopefully we might do in the end of this week weather permitting but stunning coin 454 years ago this was minted and dropped if you said 400 years ago it had been in the ground then uh, that's an awful long time to think we're now sitting here holding it so looking back in history the closest i can get to the date is 10th of february when lord darnley was murdered with henry stewart lord darnley was the husband of mary queen of scots um, his body was found strangled not far from his lodgings which had been blown up with gunpowder um, so he wasn't killed in the blast subsequently 
killed along with his travelling buddy in Kirkerfield, which there was always suspicion, bearing in mind that Mary went on on the May the 15th to marry James Hepburn. It seems likely that uh, he was bumped off. Still, 454 years ago in history. A rather old find was a buckle, I'm guessing a shoe buckle from the, from the shape. And it's got a little sort of cross and ring decoration. So the two items have been reported to the flow. Um, she's had pictures and location and we'll see her when COVID has stopped annoying everybody. So those two will get put aside and they'll wait a day out. The buckle is probably the same sort of era as this coin, which I'm pretty sure is a George the Third copper half penny. You can just see at the top where his laurel wreath extended up, which is not easy to see. Was he zooming? Um, just make him out looking to the right anyway. So, pretty sure that's what that is. That's going to be somewhere 1770 to 1775. It's a good old coin and roughly probably the same age as our buckle. Modern coinage. We had old style pound coin 1989 old style 50p 1997 got a lovely patina that one a spendable 20p from 1989 which shares one thing in common with our hammer coin and it's got the Tudor rose on it so, 20p in the fund. And the last coin that we found, I think I said it was a 5p at the time of digging it, an old 5p, but it's actually an old 10p. Um, again, it's turned red in the ground. So, the only other thing was a modern lightweight buckle. I think that's like the canvas type buckle where the grips grip the uh, the cord, but can't see anything on it, so nothing much. Anyway, we uh, hope to get out again at the end of the week, and let's see if uh, let's see if it can produce anything half as good as our little hammered. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.